All right, here we go. We're gonna do this once and hopefully not again. This is the Ayun Flamingo. It is a DAC headphone amp and amplifier. Yes, headphone amp. And it has a digital op amp in it and also a tube right there. And that tube is not replaceable. And it's uh, this is the non-Bluetooth version. There's a stripped down version, which no one says you should buy. There's the non-Bluetooth version, which is what I got because people say the Bluetooth is a problem sometimes. And then there's the Bluetooth for $289. This is like 230 or something. And then of course, with the lower version, they don't include the remote. So you spend an extra $20 and you get this really cool aluminum remote, which if you hold their name in either direction, it says, I, oh, Aun, A U N E is the name of the company. Anyways, it has a uh, volume up, down, tube on or off. I mean, tube active or unactive. Makes a little king noise. Um, filter thingy, which I never use, and source, which is USB or coaxial digital. No analog sources. <clears throat> so. About the sources, there's a quarter inch headphone jack right here, which you plug your quarter phone, quarter headphone jack into. On the back is an on off switch, the power supply, which goes to a power brick, which is shaped like this and sort of small. This thing gets hot, by the way. Um, the little sticker that covers the non existent Bluetooth antenna. So if you spend more money, there'd be an antenna port here for the Bluetooth. Um, USB B. Digital coax, which is a <clears throat> modified RCA connector, but based on the BS for the internet, may or may not require different cables. However, everyone says just plug in an RCA cable and see what happens. And then left and right for your output, it, because you can also uh, use this as a preamp. So you can use just the uh, digital analog converter and the tubies thingy and then output to your own source. So it can go to an amp. Um, it's not amplified by the way, so this is a preamp. So you need to take this, put this into an amplifier, which will then amplify whatever you've attached it to, be it um, more headphones or different speakers or what have you. And it's in a black metal case with a gigantic display, which does not flicker in real life, but um, based off of the new technology or whatever, well, there's a refresh rate of the LCD screen, does this. And you can see the number is actually sort of anti-aliased in the matter, because when you turn it sideways, it gets really fuzzy. I don't know, well, what's the deal with that? But anyways, this thing goes down, um, basically below 50 is useless. So 50 to 90 is what you usually use. And this isn't a how, this is not a high powered um, headphone amplifier. This is basically for the tube thing. So if you want the tubes feel and sound and whatever, you buy this thing and you plug your headphones into it. If you want an actual headphone amp, which will power gigantic, you know, hard to drive headphones, you don't buy this thing, all right? Um, because most of the time I had this thing up right, 88 or 89, and I just had <clears throat> these things, these uh, cost 702s plugged in, and these aren't anything special. These are just $200 AKG headphones. And uh, still, you need to turn the knob way up. So like the internet says, anything below 50 is pretty much useless because it's not gonna work. Um, it will work with IEMs or in-ear monitors. So that might actually be what you want it for, but you're not, listen, if you're plugging IEMs into this thing, then you really need to, you need to really think about some things. Um, this is a very specialty item. I got it because the display is big because I wanted to see if the text on the numbers was big enough for me to use from a distance because all the little DAC amps I have either don't have a display or the display is teeny tiny. So when you turn the knob, you don't know what's going on. And when you get to this position in the audio world, you have to turn the dang thing down before you plug things into it because there's high low gain and stuff like that. This doesn't have high low gain, but you definitely don't want to just randomly plug things into these things anymore when you're dealing in this level of, of audio technology because it's just gonna make your life very uncomfortable. 
and maybe destroy things, um, headphones and stuff. But anyway, it makes a neat little clicking noise. Um, you push this and it changes sources. Um, uh, <clears throat> if you want to really see something weird, uh, you hold this down. Is it double click? I don't know. I think it's long click. Whatever. Um, you can get to the uh, filter menu. And it's... Well, actually, I think just, just push this thing. Yeah, there you go. Then you get to try to read that. And um, I don't know. I never noticed anything with filters. There's seven of them. But I just leave it alone because filters doesn't really doesn't really do anything for me. Um, I'll bring it back. Whatever. Select one. Number one. There you go. All right. And that's it. And once again, uh, USB-B to whatever. And they include an adapter for USB-B to uh, Type-C. Or, um, of course, you can buy a connector. Which I'm very impressed with the interconnect capability of USB to the, 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 the very variety of different configurations of USB. So this is a USB-B to a USB-C. Now, it's not lightning. It's not Thunderbolt. It's not any of that. It's just a USB-B cable connector with a USB-C thingy. So it's not rated to charge your iPhone on it or your 100 watt MacBook Pro. This is just a USB cable as far as I'm concerned by uh, Ugreen. So be careful. These I'm learning these things too because sometimes you can't take a $2 USB-C cable and try to charge a 100 watt laptop on it because the cable gets hot. Anyways, that's the... Uh, that's the Ayun Flamingo. It's not pink. It comes in a red box. Um, and uh, it's a uh, digital optical amplifier with a tube uh, option. So it's a, basically the tube is for the amplifier. It doesn't do the, the DAC doesn't need a tube because, well, you can, but why would you on this thing? Um, so you switch between tube, Op amp. And it's not an instantaneous switch when you're listening to it. It's a gradual slit switch. And it's not turning the tube on or off. It's just changing the relay in the device to use the op amp or use the tube. So, or you'll just use, use the digital op output amplifier or the tube amplifier. And that is all. And like I said, it gets warm, so don't put this on your on your doily because um, it gets a little hot. It's got little feet. All right, well, there you go. There's my video. Woo-woo. I'm a YouTube celebrity, maybe. I'm not going to put this anywhere. Bye.